Oh, the terms of use have been updated. You got to highlight, or do I got to read the whole thing again? Because that's a pain. Ugh. <laughs> Like, look how long this is. I gotta read this on stream? Come on, look at this. Well, this in, it's in other languages now, but... What the heck, man? There's 23 articles in this. Why do you want me to read it all again? Ugh. Japanese, I'm not learning Japanese laws to get sued. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, yeah. You're not you're not in trouble for losing our money. How are the games? Pretty good. We're just messing around right now, waiting for Espeon to come out, and they should be out now. But I gotta read this. I'll lose all my viewers. Yeah, you're not in trouble. Don't be don't be bad person. Don't tell other people to be bad people. Don't lie. Don't hack. Uh, don't bot the game. Don't hack. Don't hack. Don't hack. What? Oh, you know what that means. Don't sell the game, I guess? Uh, I guess don't make a game using our game, I guess. Don't steal it. Original characters do not steal. Don't steal data. Uh, don't hack. Don't don't get stuff for free that you're not supposed to have for free. Don't hack. Don't bot people. Don't be rude. Common sense. Don't hack. Be responsible for your own account, more or less. We own the game. You don't own it. Uh, game sucks, but play it anyway, please. Chat exists, which I don't care about. I do not agree to the chat, and I will not agree to the chat. Personal information. Uh, you're buying digital content. You don't own it. We don't have to give you anything. If you give us money, that's your choice. Interesting. Okay, this is saying that if you buy stuff on Switch, you can't transfer it to your phone account. Interesting. I wonder what that involves, because I was able to switch, like, skins and stuff are, are on both. I wonder if that's still the, the truth or not. I don't know if that was there all the time or not. It's just the new mod and it's absolutely busted. I thought you were asleep. You constantly ranted and raved that you couldn't stay up for the Espeon thing because you had to go to bed. And you had played it anyway. Trash. Also, finally, a character that's busted that I can play. Finally. The closest I had was Sylveon and they nerfed it in one day. What in that?
You finally gaslitted him into believing it. Drag, good job. You've done it. Uh, account linking and stuff like that. I already know how to do this. Things are the same. It might be different. Don't expect anything. Can modify it without notifying you. Oh, modify the contents without notifying you. <laughs> we don't have to give you patch notes. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate that you had to put that in the legal documentation. That we that you do not have to give us patch notes. Really really makes us feel like you love us. Thanks, Unite Devs. Why don't you go why don't you go suck off Serena again? Please. Modify the contents of the terms as necessary. If you change the terms will be published somewhere. Where? Who knows, but somewhere. You accept it if you play. Maybe required to you have to update. Gotta go to bed now. Alright. No returns, no refunds, there's a shock in every single legalese ever. If you dispute, you're irresponsible. Has no monetary value, cannot be redeemed. Cannot cancel purchase, no refunds. Uh, we'll pay as stated. Only purchase in the amount as permitted. Only for your use. Can change at any time. Free to start, can buy things. Uh, depends on your country. Termination. If you wish to terminate, terminate, terminate. There we go. If you wish to terminate, you can do it. Once it's expired, you cannot continue doing it. You cannot keep playing. Uh, complete the termination. Will likely be renewed. Oh, so this is the, this is the, um, this is what it is. It's the, um, this is the, the, not the battle pass, but it's the, um, one month, like, AOS, AOS gem premium. It's like the one month premium card. So that's what, that's what they changed in the policy is the, is the premium card. And they're saying, um, unless you cancel it, you have to pay it out, the whole thing. And it will be automatically renewed, which sucks. And you're responsible for paying it. If you must modify it, you must carry out termination, and then carry out the applicable application procedure again. Previous two clauses may not be applicable depending on the country, age, and payer, and credit company. See guide. Okay, so that's what's different. Gotcha. Application for paid services. So this is the AOS card. The VIP card thing. Application procedure must be carried out before using the, the um, application procedure will vary for Switch and Smart Version. So this is what won't transfer between the two. So you have to log in with your phone if you buy it on phone. You have to log in on your Switch if you get it on Switch. I have to get it on Switch. Which I might, but we'll see. We'll wait for good skins to be what are offered. I'm pretty sure the first two skins are pretty bad. Smart device version. As well as B, period of use and other terms. Application procedure, which is next, I think. Use the payment services immediately after completing. You may carry out the application procedure with the relevant payment processor version or the smart device version. Needed. Use it. Title to receive. Content. Uh, on one of them. If you can see application procedure in both the Switch version and Smart Dice version, not be entitled to use the paid services in both. Interesting. That's odd. License to use the paid service for free or at a discount to certain users. Modify the fee at any time. Any modification of the fee during the period of use and carried out will apply at the next renewal. You'll pay the fee according to the payment terms stipulated by each period of process. So if you buy it on layaway, you pay it on layaway, whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as you pay. As you've completed, you may not cancel or void. If you wish to terminate, you must instead complete the termination procedure, as described in Article 7. You agree that you cannot commit fraud if it declines the right to suspend your use of services. If a dispute regarding the payment, the user will be responsible for expect any responsibility. In effect, 
legal action is necessary, you agree to reimburse for all expenses, including attorney's fees and other legal expenses. Just terminate, you can complete the termination. Oh, you did it. Even if the application is uninstalled, if the termination procedure is not properly completed, payment will continue. There, the termination procedure has been completed if there is any remaining period in the period of use using the paid services until the last day of the period. Even if you complete the termination procedure, we will not issue any refund for the remaining period, of course. If there's any remaining period, you may continue. So it's it's the classic like VIP thing. Or it's the classic like renewable like Netflix thing. You get it for this month. If you can't you cancel it, you won't get it next month, but you keep getting it this month. Classic. If the termination is completed and the period of use is expired, you will not be able to continue your use. If you wish to use them, you must carry out the application procedure. Okay, so that's the same. Automatic. Content does not have monetary value. All methods will form a portion of Okay. Users who are minors can use the service only if their parent or guardian has consented. Provisions herein within the heading. Okay. All right. It's pretty much the same, except it has mentioned the new um, VIP card, the new VIP service privacy notice, which I doubt has changed, other than some data that includes is some. Of How long is this? Is this just as long? I don't know because it hasn't loaded. In Japan, it says below for users. Direct about you. Access certain features. Choose to link your accounts. Make an inquiry, feedback, or make complaints. And respondents to be support site. Include accounts of other services linked with our app. What? Pokemon Training Club linked an account. That makes sense. In order to transfer your saved data, linkage to Google account or project. Name, uh, identity data, country, region, uh, date of birth, and profile, username, support ID, do not use your real name, stuff, any in-game ID, password, ID. yeah, okay, so that's just standard information data, I don't really, information we can collect, we can play in transaction, collect any information, Send us for support. Explain uh, how you use the app, how you access the app, where you uh, created an account, logged in. This might include your geographic location, financial information, and other Advertisement identifier, interesting. Advertising ID. The fact that that exists is rough. <laughs> we live in a society. Uh, unique player identifiers. Use password. IP address. Was that necessary? Did you really need that? It's not a big deal, but did you really need that? Access status, HD status code, settings, time zones, source of iron access with cap, date, time, stamp, downloads, users, game progress, and game. Wait, browse? What? Data transmitted by your browser. What? Oh, for like questionnaires. Fair enough, I guess. It's still weird. Dun, 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 dun. Link a visit to the app, keystroke logs, and similar in the information collected by a third party, either on our behalf, and slash or collected cookies or similar tech. Oh, apps, text communication, so chat. How we use information, I don't know. Really not information that really matters except the IP address really. That one's the only rough one. That's the only one that really matters at all. Performance or consent when we apply our interest. So <laughs> anything. This last one is basically we can use it for anything as long as we can convince a jury that it was for the right or good. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Uh, user.
user information on the basis of to provide access, to allow you access, to enable you to play with others, to process, to help to buy things, or <laughs> sure, uh, push notifications, don't care, analysis, or fraud and unlawful activity, probably what the IP address would be for, is to be able to ban you permanently. Uh, compliance with policies, procedures, and laws, obviously. EU and United Kingdom, nope. Might share information with app users you play, developers, or service providers. So, yeah. Pokemon Center, Nintendo, etc. Sellers and buyers of our business. Mergers. I doubt Nintendo would let you leave. <laughs> so, uh, whatever you say. <laughs> I mean, I guess if Nintendo got bought by somebody, but at that point, it would just straight up be a monopoly. <laughs> I don't think any country is going to let that fly. Nintendo is one of the biggest gaming entertain, one of the biggest entertainment companies out there. It's like Disney and then the big three gaming, like Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. <laughs> Those are like four of the biggest entertainment companies on the planet, considering Sony is like one of the biggest. Period. They're, they're more in hardware, though. Ads, obviously. How do they really make the money? Right? Use of information collection modules. That's rough. Cookies and tracking. Same as pretty much every browser ever. Basically, just so that you log in without having to log in every time. How we look at it, how long we keep it, as long as it's appropriate to provide you with services. Try to retain, so it's really compliance to the front. Yeah, we'll touch up here. International transfer your information. And the first, well, obviously, it's like. So it is. So there will be some level of protection. Yes. The, the, da, 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 da. United Kingdom here. Right, main party websites, plugins, and apps. Clicking on this links or enable this connection may allow third parties to collect or share data about you. We do not probably wait. Then that. That's a like my children. Don't care. I'm an adult. Additional privacy rights for California residents. Best to be deleted. Well, Pokemon hasn't existed in the past 12 months, so that means that they are saying they've never sold your data. I... If you say so... And at any time, if you make changes, try the changes. Well, you didn't. Alright. That's about right. Sucks that the IP address is there, but whatever. It's probably about as safe there as every time I use an internet browser. For Other than my VPN, but, you know, which is life.
Oh, glad that's over with. Everyone gone? Good. <laughs> I would have liked to do that off stream, but that felt irresponsible. So here I am, doing it on stream. Because that's much more responsible. Yo! As beyond Pokebuki! It's on sale! Let's freaking go! It's not a $40 skin, is it? Look, we've got Espeon! It's so cute! Ah! If Pikachu wasn't my favorite, I would favorite this. I'm favoriting this on, like, all my accounts. New favorite. Goodbye, Zara Aura. Espeon is my new best friend. So, scoring has an animation, returning has an animation, KO has an animation, and movement has an animation. But there's no, like, introduction animation. So it's not a full skin, but it's darn close. Like, if I were to compare that to, say, like, Pikachu's, or I could, uh, Zara's. Uh, this is Unite Move has a unique one. Uh, scoring, returning, KO, and movement, right? So, like, a full skin, a full legendary skin is, like, scoring, KO, movement. What is it? I've already forgotten. Scoring, returning, KO, movement. Scoring, returning, KO, movement, and usually Unite move, and a cutscene. This has scoring, returning, KO, movement, but it doesn't have Unite move, and it doesn't have a cutscene. Which is a shame. Because, like, if I load up Zara here, it shows the cutscene. So Espeon does not have a cutscene, I believe. So about obtaining it. No, it costs a gem. So sad. I don't care. Is there an event? How do I get it? No. No. Yeah, we get it with 2,000 points. All right, log in daily, baby. I'm doing every single one of these, even if it's ranked, I don't care. So it's log in, it's win one, and it's three battles. So we're just doing quick battles then. That's not right. Weeklies or score, log in, log in, 15 battles. I'm just gonna do three quick battles real quick. <laughs> Still haven't updated the Hollowware ticket shop. Yeah, there's a shock. I'm just gonna do. I don't need wins, so I don't. I'm gonna do CPU anyway, because I've been. I'm sick of hackers. <laughs> uh. That's the wrong thing. Is this different at all yet? There's Talon Flame, so odds are low. Uh, Snorlax and Garchomp. No, no, they are not. Same old. Did they even add any clothes? Nope. I think they removed clothes. I think there's less now than there was before. The heck, man. The heck. Now I'm gonna desperately wish that I could have two Poke stickers. That. Man. Drag left as is deserved. What I get for reading legalese on stream. <sighs> is being able to read legalese a skill, right? It's not that hard. I guess having the attention span is probably a bigger issue. Even I was just like, please let me get on with it. <laughs> I want to be somewhere else, please. I didn't practice Espeon offline. I have to know how they play. I have to know. That That's inexcusable. Practice. Practice, 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 practice. Offline mode is better practice, but oh well. Espeon, Espeon. 
Yeah. Right next to Eve, Sylveon, baby. Espeon's long neck looks kind of weird right next to Sylveon. It looks fine as a model in game, but like on the on the character select screen, that the that worm's eye view is that Dutch angle is not doing us any favors here. Yeah, no cutscene. Can't confirm, no cutscene. Uh, so it is not a legendary skin; it is only an epic. It's not it's not full high qual high quality super skin. It doesn't have all five plus a cutscene. It only has it only has the four without unite move. And it doesn't have a cutscene. I didn't give it items, bro! I didn't read anything. Ready? Look, I'm so cute! I'm an Eevee! Growl! Yo, I've got a, a meter? Hold on. Hold on. Hey yo. I got meter? I'm I'm Smash DLC? Let's go. Look, I won. I did it. Why does it take so long if you've only been in the game ten seconds? Why does it kick you out to the main menu, man? If I practiced once, I'm gonna wanna practice again. It's been eight months. How it's been eleven months. How have they not fixed that? Obviously, X attack. I'm willing to bet that it's probably going to be energy amp, but let's read up. Fails. Well, that doesn't help. Does a boosted attack? Whenever a set amount of time passes, firing a beam. Beam deals increased damage to a Pokemon, Pokemon when it hits and decreases movement speed. Interesting. Pokemon will be affected. But by a hindrance negated, the Pokemon becomes immune to hindrances for a short time. Goes on cooldown, obviously. When the Pokemon would be affected, it's negated. Interesting. Sylveon doesn't have this, I don't think. Hers just changed completely. Becomes immune to hindrances for a short time. This ability deals damage to the opposing Pokemon that attempted to inflict the hindrance. That's Magic Bounce, yeah. So that's Espeon's uh, most common ability. Deals damage to the imposing Pokemon that attempted to inflict the hindrance and decreases its movement speed. It goes on cooldown. Yeah, for Sylveon, it's like... She just loses that hindrance thing outright, doesn't she? Yeah, she just loses it completely. Also, Sylveon's a heat, but whatever. Comes a boosted attack with every third attack, the increased damage, and increasing the user's movement speed when it hits. Yeah. Sylveon loses it completely. Espeon keeps it. That's crazy. Okay. And it deals damage and slows uh, when you hit them with a hindrance. That's pretty cool. So now that's an actually useful ability. Swift, star, stars, it, it's swift, it's the same. Psy Shock has a user material psychic projectiles and hurl them at a designated location, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon hit by the projectiles and decreasing their movement speed in a short time. If opposing Pokemon is hit by all of these psychic projectiles, Pokemon is unable to, left unable to act for a short time. It's stunned. Upgrade increases the speed at which the projectiles travel. Okay, so it is like a little bit like Gardevoir's Psy Shock then. Interesting. Stored power. Has a user unleashed blasts of psychic power at random opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. So it's kinda like Pikachu. There's a single target and there's Aerial E. Dealing damage to them and decreasing their movement speed for a while. For a short time. Random Pokemon, huh? The user stores one blast of psychic power whenever a set amount of time passes or after the user hits an opposing Pokemon with a boost in it. So, which is also timed. Up to five blasts can be stored. After the use move is used, the user's movement speed increases for a short time. Nice. So that's more like a jungle ability. Sure hit. Interesting. Upgrade. Also, it deals additional damage to opposing Pokemon with the low percentage. Oh, so it's execute as well. Ooh, I like stored power already. Wow. Has the user growl at a designated opposing Pokemon, dealing damage and decreasing its movement speed for a short time. So basically, it's exactly the same as Sylveon's, except it's not Fairy type. <laughs> Instead of Baby Doll Eyes, it's just growl. So I assume that this will probably be the move that we get for every other Evolution. 
this is probably what we'll get. It's Sylveon's, but not. <laughs> Unless we get a different one for each one to let us know which one it is when they're still Eevee. Which would make sense, but also I don't expect Unite to think that far ahead. <laughs> Considering this isn't a Psychic type, this is just Growl. <laughs> I'm willing to bet we will just have six, we will just have eight EVs that all have Growl. There will there will be seven EVs with Growl and one with Baby Doll Eyes. <laughs> well, alright then. Thybeam has the user fire a peculiar ray in the designated direction. If the ray hits an opposing Pokemon, it will then split beyond the first Pokemon and hit and deal damage to other opposing Pokemon in range. Sounds like Hyper Voice. These split rays deal more damage the higher the max HP of the first Pokemon hit by the ray. So having a tank buster, having a tank in front means you die. Furthermore, the first Pokemon hit by the ray has its movement speed decreased or is unable to act. So if you hit it with a boosted attack, or you hit it with Psy Shock, so this works with Psy Shock well. Those same effects will be applied to the Pokemon hit by the split rays. Oh, so you can stun an entire team if you stun the person in front. That's busted! So you just have someone stun- If you just have a Gardevoir Moonblast the tank in front, you can stun the entire team. That's busted, dude. Because this stuns them if you're hit with all- Yeah, this stuns if you hit with all of it. So you can stun them with Psy Shock. You can decrease movement speed with boosted attack, stun them with Psy Shock, and then stun the entire team with Psy Beam. That's busted! And you get Future Sight? Finally, a Gardevoir I can play! Let's go! Has the use to lock on to an opposing Pokemon, then deal damage a few seconds later to opposing Pokemon. Oh, you lock on to a Pokemon. There's a Pokemon in the area of effect centered on the locked on Pokemon. So it's Future Sight, but you can't miss. <laughs> More damage is dealt the lower the locked-on Pokemon's remaining HP. So it's an Execute, again. This was also an Execute, wasn't it, with the upgrade? No, that was, um, Sword Power. Sword Power is an Execute. So this this goes well with Sword Power. You can you can just double Execute. So Absol. <laughs> you can be Gardevoir, or you can be Absol. Pick one. It's other while the user is locked on to an opposing Pokemon, its other moves will target that Pokemon wherever possible. Let's go! Ex that's Absol Execute! Let's go! Each time one of these moves deals damage, Future Sight's cooldown is reduced! Let's go! This is busted. This is not fair. If the locked on Pokemon is on the opposing team, so you can lock onto one of your Pokemon? You can lock onto your team? When I was on the opposing team and is knocked out before the area of effect damage is dealt, a single powered up use of Psy Shock Restored Power becomes available for a short. You get a stronger version of your other move for a short time. Shock is powered up, it hurls stronger psychic projectiles at the location, and causes an explosion. In, in the area of effect. When stored power is powered up and unleashes an increased number of psychic power blasts and restores the user's HP! That's never going to be useful, but it's going to be nice when it happens. That can't really be nerfed, because if you nerf it, it's better. It, you might as well just not have it. That's not good. You, you're going to have to just nerf the damage instead. Upgrade. The user deals increased damage to the opposing Pokemon that Espeon's future side is locked on to. Let's go! Oh, that's a super good execute. Yo, that's fucking sick. So this is definitely the solo queue move. This is the team move. And, well, I mean, since the, these very obviously, these very, very obviously uh, mesh with each other. And so, right, obviously, stored power goes with future sight really well, and Psy Shock goes with uh, Psy Beam really well. Excuse me. Now let's see what the Unite move. Psychic Solar. As the user throw opposing Pokemon in the area of effect into the air and suspend them using psychic power. Oh, that's good. After a delay, an explosion occurs that deals damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and shoves them. 
Oh, that sounds busted. Uh, having ult more often sounds like it's super broke. Are you special attack? No, normal. No, special attack. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, I was very, that's very, that's kind of weird. I feel like choice specs. I feel like choice specs on this character, huh? Like this and choice specs. May honestly, maybe even special attack specs. Not on this account, obviously, but maybe, maybe special attack specs on this character because Eevee is just immune to it. You might be able to just get away. With it. Not well, but you might be able to. This feels, this feels like the build. This is a, this is an, a, this is a special attack assassin. It's like Gengar, Gardevoir, and Gengar, Gardevoir, and Absol all wrapped up in one. Oh baby, a triple. Ready, go! Oh baby, a triple. How's how's Growl's damage? Pretty much the same as Baby Doll Eyes. Stick with Swift. Yo, it's got a different Swift. Oh, so that's how we'll be able to tell the different different Pokemon. Oh, they aim at a location. That makes sense because it's Espeon. That's sick, dude. That's so cool. That Swift is so much better than Sylveon's. Oh, let's try... I feel like I'm gonna like Stored Power better, so let's try Psyshock. I'm so cute! Look, I'm an Espeon! And my magic bounce is really obvious. Yo, that score animation is sick. I just float. Oh, so it's it's just Swift. It's not like Psyshock at all. No, I didn't want to attack you. Freaking practice, buddy. I missed. Ooh, I thank goodness that wasn't a boosted attack. I would have died. That does a lot of damage if you hit all of them. Freaking rip. That stun is brutal. Let's try side beam. Got him. That scoring is pretty fast, dude. Side beam. Alright, so if you max range it, don't really work too well. Oh, that's my boosted attack charging up. I gotcha. It's nice that they let you see it, unlike, um, Blissey. Did the beam split? <laughs> that does some damage, and that is a good stun. I'll be honest, side beam not impressing so far. Not impressive so far. No. No. The evolution, bro. I missed because I suck. Oh, there's the split beams. So it's it's not like a it's not like a split in three. It's more like homing. If they're nearby, it it splits to them. Yeah. Auto aim on side shock feels a little bit better than trying to aim it yourself, unless it aims at the wrong thing. Rotom's max health is oh, <laughs> oh Rotom's max health is massive, so you just yo Psybeam is so good at dread. Yo, with Espeon on the team, you just start dread. Psybeam will obliterate. I'm not gonna score that. That's sick, dude. Yo, that does so much damage. 
All right, Sidebeam doesn't have that much range. <laughs> I was I was a little I was a little excited about that one. Yeah, auto aim on side shock is way better. Side shock plus now it's just faster, right? Maybe I don't know. It didn't look all that fast. <laughs> Can I see descriptions of my? Oh, I'm hitting I'm hitting the wrong button. I wonder. I should aim for Vespicon with that. I gotta learn the strats, bro. Gosh, I'm freaking dying. That is rough. That is, this is these this isn't even the assassin build. What kind of damage am I doing at level ten? Hey, yo, that can't be right. No, no, side beam. No, these aren't even the execute moves. They don't do. They don't do execute. That's stored power and future sight. Hey, yo, why did I do 10k? Oh wait, no, I don't have side beam plus. Dang, it doesn't have the range. Does it have the range? No, that doesn't have the range. I don't have side beam plus. Side beam plus is when you do the extra damage to it, right? I don't know. No, Cybeam Plus doesn't do damage based on health. I have Muscle Band, I guess, but... No, I missed. Rotom moved just a slight inch. Take that, nerd. Freaking heck. Why does Psybeam do so much damage, bro? Stunned. Yo, that's busted! That's so good! It stuns an entire team! That's not legal, bro! That is not legal! You can't be stunning a whole team! He dodged me. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Espeon's damage does not come from their basic attacks. It being a slow is all the basic attacks are good for. Tell you what, they have Absol level execute. It is beautiful. They dodged me. <laughs> they got smoked. They got stunned by Psy Shock. It canceled their ult and their pyro ball. That is rough. I don't even care, I'm not full health. Yo, you get your ult quick, too. You get your ult way too quick. This is getting nerfed. I gotta get into ranked quick. Oh, I gotta get all the points. I'm grinding points. I'm grinding points on all my accounts. I'm getting this character for free. All five. I'm gonna be playing Unite day in, day out. Don't care. Don't care. Yeah, that's pretty much like almost not not quite, but it's like maybe like Talon level clear, the maybe more, stretch. maybe better, honestly. You're on fire. Yo, if I hit Zapdos with this side beam, Cinderay is gonna die. Dang! Look at that, dude! <laughs> it took out a third of his health. Oh no! That's Cinderace to be fair, but still. That was one move from just an attacker. Ow. Oh. Bad. Luckily Cinderace doesn't have ult. Bro, Espeon ult is devastating. 
Espeon ult is devastating. They are going to be, like, tunneling. They are going to be tunneling Espeon so hard. Like, a everyone at, at Zap ults, you ult. You ult, the entire enemy team loses, like, five seconds on their ult timers, and your team gets to use their ult timers completely and totally un unchallenged. That's brutal. Espeon got that Pikachu range, too. Freaking, no one talking to you, Corfish. Ain't nobody talking to you. Yo, Espeon gets their ult so quick. That's not, that's not, that's not okay. No! Why did it aim at the Cinderace with my Slide Shock when Zapdos was so low? That's exactly what happened to Danny. That's rough. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. It works on farm. You can ult farm. That's sick. Bro, that ult is so good. That is Hoopa levels of this is not fair. You win. Right? Like, that's like half of Serena's ult on five people. That's like Blastoise ult. That is Blastoise ult. That's what that is. That's Blastoise ult. You can't steal Zap with it as well as Blastoise because it doesn't do stupid damage. Because I don't think it works on Zapdos because, you know... Duh. I didn't see it take any damage when I ulted Cinderace. Maybe it did and I just wasn't paying it. I gotta try the other moveset. I gotta, I gotta know. I love it. They made us be up good, dude. Uh, let me, let me check, let me check the descriptions again. Because Bybean didn't have anything that made health do more damage, did it? It shouldn't have. Oh! No! Psybeam, uh, Psybeam Plus deals more damage to Pokemon that are stunned. Deals additional damage to stun. Split Ray. Its split rays will also deal additional damage to opposing Pokemon. Hit and stun them. New effects will be applied to the Pokemon hit by this play right now. Yeah, so it doesn't do any more damage unless you're stunned and Psybeam plus. Psybeam, it didn't have anything to do with that. Cinderace wasn't stunned when I hit him with Psybeam, and even if they were, I didn't have Psybeam plus. So it just did that much damage. <laughs> Also, Psybeam, Psybeam Plus did like 2,000 damage when I hit Zapdos with it. That's rough. <laughs> that is rough. Reminder, that was through his ult shield. It did like 2,000 damage. That, that did like 3,000 total damage. <laughs> that is busted. <laughs> also, absolutely energy am. 100%, no question. Bloody Barry, you don't need it because everyone's going to die. Muscle band, just because you want boosted attacks faster, I guess. I haven't timed it. I don't know if it does anything. But also, what else would you realistically put on Espeon? They're full-on assassin. They're just assassin, straight up. That's what they are. It's like, what are you going to put on it? I would say choice specs and special attack specs. But, like... Eh? The attack speed for more boosted attacks is nice. I wouldn't consider this a good choice. But the problem is there really isn't a good choice. Maybe wise glasses, but that really isn't any different than choice specs, but worse. Three barriers worthless. Focus band is probably worthless. XP share, meh. Score shield, meh. It's legit just between Muscle Band and Special Attack Specs. 
legit. There's like either pick muscle band or special attack specs, and I my special attack specs aren't upgraded. I would probably legitimately put special attack specs on Espeon. I think. I think I would probably put it on. Now that now that um, score shielding isn't so scummy, now you can run stacking items without using score shield and buddy barrier. I would probably legit put special attack specs on Espeon and just play normal. And it'll just be bonus damage. I almost feel like Growl does more damage. I'm wrong. I'm very wrong. Never mind. Take Swift. Oh, that damage, though. Yeah, you can't snipe with it, too. Why do you have Focus Sash? What have I done to you? Sword Power. Yo, you get five stacks off the bat when you get stored power. Let's go. It is not strong. But you get them fast, though. It's after a set amount of time, but that set amount of time is short. I love that score animation. Like freaking Anka Zone or something. That's like Duraludon level execute. Pretty good farm clear, not gonna lie. How's future sight work? I forget which order I'm supposed to use. Yeah, while they're future sighted, you deal more damage later on, so you definitely want to use. Uh, future Sight first. Yeah, and it travels with them, so that's super good. Yo, this is, this is such good execute. You've got Duraludon level execute. Plus the movement speed bonus? Like, that's Mystic Fire. You're not getting away. <laughs> no, no, no. I get stronger stored power for some reason. I don't know why. Is it because they died? Before Future Sight went on? I don't have Future Sight Plus, though. I don't know why I'm getting a second stored power. What did I miss in the description? Why did you go for that? Ah. <laughs> auto aim in this game is trash. This is a console game. How did you make auto aim the trash? Now I have stored power plus. I don't know why sometimes I'm getting a second stored power. You do have to stand still to put Future Sight on, which is kind of rough. I would almost say you should Stored Power and then Future Sight. If you're trying to chase someone down. Unless you're positive that the Future Sight's going to kill them, which is not hard. It ain't Gardevoir Future Sight, but it's damage. I 
I killed it before Future Sight went off, and I didn't get another one. Because I don't have Future Sight Plus yet. There's something in the description I'm forgetting. Is it stored power if there's no target for the ones that are left? I got a second Future Sight. Oh, I don't have Plus yet, though. That doesn't make sense. Why did I get a second one? That's busted. Shortening the cooldown by Future Sight and then Stored Power is so rough. You basically just get it back. I think it's a 10 second cooldown normally. Eight. And you just get it again. Oh, I didn't get to ult because my basic attack animation. Also because Pyro Ball. Which I think is the biggest burst in the game besides Brave Bird. Rip. He did not see me. I don't know what's giving me a second stored power, it's weird. I should have gotten a better stored power for that, I killed it before Future Sight went off. Dang it! Just enough burst, man. You're on fire. Pyro Ball does 4,000. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I guess that's probably including the last time. It just shows you the damage now. You can't... I can't view the map or anything. Is that a bug? I think that's a bug. If you view your damage, I think it just locks you out. No, I did it in the wrong order because it lagged. Uh, Snarish would probably have ult by now. With a death and a kill. Oh, I can't do it if there's no target. That's sad. There it is. The final stretch. Oh. You're on fire. Yeah, no. It just... It just automatically shows you damage and you can't move now. I think that's a bug. Gotta say, like, execute potential aside, does not feel as good as Psybeam Psyshock. As far as I can tell, it does not affect Zapdos. You're on fire. What a goal. I have ult again. 
Granted, I scored like four times. But even then, I normally should not have ult again. Oh, you don't. Think of you. I'm not sure what it is. Is it if you kill someone with stored power? I don't understand. Five, four, three, two, it just feels one. so random. When am I getting new stored powers? It just feels like it's happening all of a sudden. End of you one. win. Why am I getting them? Am I getting new stored powers? I don't understand. Also deals additional damage to opposing Pokemon with low percentage. Th there's nothing that says I get more stored power later. I don't understand. It's not the special ability, because that's just uh, if they hinder you, you deal damage. Is it Future Sight? If the locked on Pokemon is upon the opposing team is knocked out before it's dealt, a powered up use of stored power is available. And you heal. Stores HP when it heals. Okay. So it does that without the plus version. So it is when you kill it before uh Future Sight goes off. It's just that Future Sight goes off faster than I think it does. And when Psyshock is leveled up, what happens? Increases the speed. I guess. It didn't feel much faster. But whatever you say. I love this Pokemon. I love that so much. All right, all right. Events, events. We'll we'll do. I'll do on this account the daily. Actually, you know what? Let me switch accounts real quick. This account real quick, and let me go to the bathroom real quick.
I wonder when I'll ever stop saying that stupid makeup line thing. One day, probably. Pokemon Unite. Alright, I've been meaning to... I need to... I haven't used my stream account on stream in a long time. Let me play it on stream. Uh, we've already read this once. It won't let us just agree to it. We have to look at it. Ah, oh, that was a good look. Too bad this menu is incredibly laggy. <laughs> Amazing. Gosh, this menu is so laggy. Legit, like, you have to wait two full seconds, and then it will double press your input. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't understand how they make menus that are this bad. Just, I don't understand. I've only dropped 34 frames over four hours. Well, four hours in nine minutes, but, you know. It's sad that it's not zero, but I'm glad that it's not much higher, considering rendering frames dropped is several thousand. <laughs> and so are encoding drops. All a lot. Yo, Waffles, you hear about the bug that makes the game unplayable? That's unfortunate. The only bug I know of so far is that when you die, it just shows you your damage and you can't see anything. <laughs> You can't get rid of it, you can't stop it, you can't move the camera. That's kind of rough. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. What bug's going on? Uh, so, log in. It looks like these are going to be the same every day. Why does it just take you to the challenge immediately? Why? First of all, let me show off my achievements. Citrus Berries, Expert. There's a Salak Berry for you. Yeah. Fancy. And I finally defeated Dreadnought a few times. Isn't that nice. Did it save all of my other Dreadnought kills? Yeah, it did. It took the other three that I've done. Look at that. It does continue saving your progress while you still have to claim your achievement. So that's good. Yes, thank you, yes. Uh, let's go to Unite Squad. Oh, I have to select that today. Uh, I can't... I think we did guitar. This. Nah. I don't remember. I'm just going to do sax uh, on my other account. I'll do that later. Flower coin exchange, which I have not really exchanged anything yet. Two more days before we can get that. I've gotten most of the good stuff. I'll buy this, just because it's a that's something that's worth. These aren't really worth, even if you get them. It, you're gonna get to level 40 sooner or later anyway. There's not much of a point. I'll probably get this at some point, but probably at the end. I've been doing this daily, obviously, as you can see. A Rotom on this account, but I can do that in Mer Stadium. Two battles, Unite moves, Citrus Berries, no one cares. These are the missions that matter. Three battles, win one, so CPU. 600 points. Uh, I have six days to do this, so I have all week to do this. 600 points total, three days, log in, log in, and participate in battles. Uh, basically, it's just. Uh, one win, so a CPU battle, and then just games. Doesn't matter. Need a Rotom. That's about it. Luckily, Rotom is in Mer Stadium now, because Mer Stadium is better than Shiver City. Let's go. So what's the bug you were talking about, Waffles? Can everybody hear me? I don't know. I might have muted myself by accident. Can everyone hear me? Because Mer Stadium is better than... Nope, you can hear me. Let's go. Oh, my stomach. <sighs> What are we doing? What's happening? I'm looking. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Waffles never answered the question. I assume he was just gonna meme about Espeon is Espeon exists and that makes the game unplayable. <laughs> Funny. Uh. Do I own Garchomp on this account? This is Anstream. I haven't gotten the skin on this account. I don't. 
Probably don't. I should get him. This is a good meme. This isn't a bad meme. I should play more Decidueye. I should also play more Sylveon, but it feels kind of insulting to play it. I don't know Sylveon on this account. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, Decidueye it is. Yep, that's the build. Oh, I was getting out. What? Why is it highlighted? It's not highlighted. I just think it's highlighted. I've been memed. I've been memed. On stream, it looks like it's highlighted because the other one's darkened. I've been memed. If only I would look at my viewfinder that actually, you know, just has the capture instead of all of the gobbledygook on screen. Which I'm considering getting rid of and just having an overlay, an actual overlay like a professional streamer. Because it's getting to that point. It's really getting to the point where there's kind of just too much stuff on screen. I should probably make that bit cup small. We'll see. Hitting me. There we They scored before me. <laughs> that's how much faster Azumarill's is. Any, because that's how Rotom works. Save me, Azumarill. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> Or did you hate me so much? <laughs> Alright, 
Oh, I thought he would aim at me for some reason. Any human would have. <laughs> You're on the final stretch. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Oh, I could have died. That's not good. That is very not good. They go. They all went top. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. <laughs> you just <laughs> what a clip. <laughs> you just see the points pop up. <laughs> you just go to see Zara and Family Guy death pose. <laughs> just gah. <laughs> just <You> dead <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Amazing. Oh wow, I made that way too big. Is that really how small the text is? That's crazy. That text is so small. I can't make it any bigger either. Unless I should. Uh, I, I guess that's fair. It doesn't need to be that big on this part. Shrink this down a bit and then do this. And that there, that's a bit more easy to read. Good enough, calling it. Ah. There, good enough. Lock it. I don't want to touch it. I don't want it to move ever again. It's kind of too big. Kind of too small to read, but also kind of isn't. I don't know. We'll make it work. We'll see what happens. Oof. got back online but they also I think play on their phone because I see them online pretty much 24 7 
So I assume whenever they turn on their phone, it shows up as online. I assume that's what's happening anyway. Maybe it's every time they turn on their Switch and they just leave Pokemon Unite on. I don't know. I just know that I see them online like 24-7. <laughs> like, no matter when I play this game, they will always be on. Online. Even if they're never on a team, never playing games, just online. Uh, new weeklies. Block a goal. All-rounders. Okay, so I'm playing two all-rounders today. Uh, how many coins do I have? I almost have enough to justify just buying a character outright. Right here, right now. Uh, who do I not own? Sylveon I don't own, and it's a disgrace. I should absolutely own Sylveon by now. Garchomp, Sylveon, Decidueye, all in a nice neat line here. All disgraceful that I don't... I don't own Absol either. I will probably never buy Gardevoir now that Espeon exists. <laughs> Espeon being Gardevoir, Absol, Gengar is rough. All-rounder, huh? Do I own any? Dragonite's free. That's the only one I own, is Dragonite for free. Well, that is something, isn't it? I mean, his basic attacks do 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 be doing damage. I'd probably call that the best one. At least for my playstyle. Didn't select a lane, because there is no lane to select. Let's see if I can scour Discord for this supposed bug. It's not in Pika's cord, which is the only one I know Waffles is in. Void. Ready? I don't see it if there is any. If there's any game breaking bug, I don't see it. It would ha it must be on Twitter or something. Could have taken out Rage for the lols. And I should have, because I think it's the achievement. Dang it. Well, I'll just take Dragon Dance Extreme. I'll just take Dragon Dance out Rage because it's better. There's no reason to ever take Extreme Speed anyway. Dragonite's basic attacks were such a cool mechanic. I'm really glad those are in the game. Even though it's a real pain to play around. <laughs> Playing as him, it's really easy to keep track. Uh, against, it's a real pain to try and keep that up. Like, which one is he on? What is the cycle to? I don't know. Dang. Yeah. 
Gosh, that stun is not fair. What the heck was that? Die. I was level 14 and I almost freaking died to that stun. And that's why I didn't go for the Rotom. I could solo this. Support. Get back here. I was tempted. No. I got stuck on the. I got stuck on the, the curved side. Well, no point in ulting that now. Now it's just death. Really, all four of them stunned me. I off. Stun City. Oh, you don't. Come here. That's less than good. <laughs> Boy, I hope I out damage an Eldegoss. Build did that, look us take. <laughs> Cotton Spore Leaf Tornado. It's not quite damage build, but it's close enough. But I think that it would be good. Why did they give X Scissor Crypt Trits again? Explain it to me. Eight. Time's up. I'll tell you why, it's because Carcel can't just score for free with Buddy Barrier anymore. Well, I mean, they can, but once, as opposed to being able to do it twice. Outrage is still not good. The damage is great, but just being outranged is not good. The fact that you turn yourself melee is just crippling. Absolutely crippling. Uh, I needed another game. I don't know why I stopped playing. This will be the end of it for tonight, because I need to go to bed. Uh, mind you, I will continue playing dailies off stream, but I'm going to be doing them while eating food, because <laughs> I'm on. I will eat some food and do all that. Have a good day. I'm doing this on stream just because I can. Is that really how small that things are in the big cup? I might consider turning on emotes for the big cup, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's so small. I turn them up as big as they can get and it's still just so small. Well, there's something in the big cup, so we'll close the stream and I'll come back tomorrow. And if there's still something in the big cup, I'll think about leaving it. If there's nothing in the big cup, I'm turning on emotes because that means that the setting I turned on didn't work and I can't be bothered. Uh, the stream feels like it's put together with duct tape. The chat's really distracting. I'm really thinking about uh, moving it. The fact that you can see behind it is nice, but... Eh. Really should have taken Duraludon. Look at me, let's go, I got it. Yeah, I'm still taking Hyper Beam.
that now. Ready? Go! I weaved perfectly through everything, so I lost my hyperbeam. That sucked. No, I would have killed him. Speaking of, would have killed him. Old for this, but I'm not too worried. <laughs> All right, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> I do not win. For the memes, I am. Oh, they dodged it. Had so much done, I lost my hyper beam because of that. What a goal! Else to do. 
you. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. Nothing else to do. No honeycomb. You're up late. Maybe it's early for you. Not sure. Espeon is available for oh. much freaking gold, dude. All right, that's the last game for tonight. But instead, what I can do uh, is pull up the um, trailers for Espeon that I didn't get to see in time Dying, trying to load these. All right, close that. Pull up this. All right, that's that done. That's that done for tonight. I'll do I'll do the dailies off screen because I have to do them for the other accounts too. Claim all, just one at a time. No fanfare, you just get them. challenge and I don't really care because it doesn't really have anything worth I want to do it later maybe I will maybe I won't who knows but instead what I'm gonna show everybody is this which should be locked and it is this look at that so we've got some of these for you. Can't zoom in on that, unfortunately, but oh well, just to deal with it, I guess. it is. strongest Pokemon you can. Looks like how it works is different in the final version. Because in this um, 
Espeon shoots the extra beams. It looks like. Because there's at least two, so it's not boosted attack. That's interested. It, it just sends out additional beams, as opposed to in the final version, where um, the, the it just automatically attacks a, a new Pokemon. We've got Psy Shock. Materialize multiple psychic projectiles to hurl an opponent. So that this seems to be roughly the same. Yeah, Psy Shock Psy Beam is the is the build that they are intending. Here's the ultimate, the uh, Unite move, Psychic Solaire. I will probably call Psychic Solar Flare. Or just Solar Flare for short, really. Lift opposing Pokemon to the air with psychic energy, then explosion sends a flying. It's Blastoise. It's rough, dude. That's it's so. This is the Unite move is stupid good. And here we go. Here's the official trailer. I love that score animation. Just the sit and then back. It does so much damage. They're slightly floating for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. See, like, in-game, looks perfectly normal, right? The neck is, like, maybe two-thirds, maybe half the size of the head. I don't know what it is about this render. But the neck is as it looks. The neck looks as long as the head, and it looks weird. <laughs> it bothers me. It's the angle, man. The Dutch tilt, not the Dutch tilt. The Dutch angle is different. The Dutch angle just makes the neck look so weird. <laughs> I don't know why. Ugh, so good. So glad we got that. All right. All right. Is there anything else I wanted to do on this stream? I don't think so. Alright, well, it's friggin' late, so that's gonna be good enough for me for the night. Uh, if there's any bug with the game, I don't know about it. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Uh, no one's mentioned it on Discord. Waffles said it, but I don't know if they were memeing. Oh, that's neat, I didn't know that.
Um, I don't know. Uh, if there is a bug, I don't know about it. There's tweets from today to yesterday, and like right now, none of them say anything about it. I think Waffles was just. So I'm gonna call it there. Uh... I'm kinda too lazy to. He could stream in. We'll just raid them. for you. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thought about raiding Chalet, but eh, maybe another day. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next time. SP on, baby! All my friends are dead. Woo! All my friends are dead.